Hi, I'm Lynette and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial using the Juvia's Place Nubian 3 Coral Palette. Now this isn't a palette that I had really been thinking about buying. I mean, I sort of kind of had my eye on it, but it eh, wasn't that interested enough to want to go ahead and purchase it. But then doing the Black Friday Madness, um, I like to refer to it now as the Black Friday Blackout because I blacked out <laughs> and bought a whole slew of palettes <laughs> that uh, yeah I don't know what happened <laughs> and this was one of them um, this is an old one at this point um, but it's new to me and it is their coral ooh, it's their coral palette but it does have some this three gray shades in here which um i don't know it seems kind of unusual to put in a coral theme palette i thought but i like it because i like gray and these seem to be some really nice ones so i'm not mad at it and i thought this look was going to be a lot different because i was really going for something much lighter and not heavy not so smoky and I don't know what happened. I think what happened is I really wanted to use this brown metallic shade right here. And then, so that kind of dictated where this look went, but I'm not unhappy. And I certainly feel like this palette is a, is a good, smart addition to the Juvia's Place um, collection because you know, they're known for their really bright, colorful palettes. So for, for them, this is a neutral palette and I think for a lot of people this can be worn as a neutral and this year when I'm looking to do I said more subtle looks but I think the um, word I was really looking for was soft I'm looking to mix it up a little bit and do some more subtle softer looks I don't know how soft this look is but <laughs> for me it's pretty soft <laughs> so yeah um, I liked it I have to admit um, the metallic shades that I used were okay. I mean, this this brown shade is really beautiful no matter how you slice it, but um, I wet it to use it on my lid because I wanted a little more oomph. And the, the two that I put in my inner corner highlight, as my inner corner highlight, and I did use two, be, I used dry. And the first one, I don't know, it wasn't really giving me, I guess I'm really so used to having this punch of color when it comes to Juvia's Place metallic shades. And maybe that's because their metallic shades are usually really bright, really colorful purples and blues, and at least the ones that I like to use. And so I don't know, maybe the, the dark, I mean the darker, how really, punchy is a dark brown metallic shade going to be, right? So I think that's my hang up as opposed to anything wrong with the Juvia's Place formula. But yeah, aside from that, this has a lot of shades in it that I think go really well together. And it's a really pretty palette. I mean, I wasn't looking necessarily, it wasn't one of those palettes I was like, ooh, ooh, I wanna get. But now that I have it, I'm definitely happy to have it in my collection and in looking at it today it was kind of hard to think about what I wanted to do because there are so many color combinations you can do with this palette and I'm not just even talking about the grays at this point just with the coral brown shades in here and then when you add in the gray shades and the silver shades it's like you could really do a lot with this so I'm looking forward to doing more looks with this palette and I will be doing more well the plan is to do more tutorials using this palette mix it up a bit and see what other looks I can do with it so if you would like to see more eyeshadow tutorials tutorials using palettes that I already own. If you like makeup reviews, hauls, and swatches, then please consider subscribing because I do all of that and then some every Saturday here on my channel. So if you're interested to see how I created this look today using the Juvia's Place Nubian, Nubian 3 Coral Palette, then keep on watching. I'm first going in with the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in the shade Cool Tan and I'm blending that out with my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush.
and I'm just taking that from the eyebrow to the crease and now I'm going in with my Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion and I'm going to put that all over the lid. I used the concealer to try to kind of even out my skin color there. Now I'm taking the NYX Blame It On Midnight Eyeshadow and I'm going to place that over the concealer and again that's to kind of give me a blank canvas and it's also going to serve as my under eye, my under brow highlight. Now I'm going into the palette and I'm taking this warm coral shade here. These shadows don't have names and I'm using my Sonia G Blender Pro and this is going to be my crease shade and I'm using back and forth motions and circular motions when I get um, near the outer V. Now I'm going to take this deep warm brown shade and I'm using a Sephora eyeshadow brush number 71 and I'm going to place that on the outer V part way onto my lid and then I'm going to also blend it into the crease. I'm going to blend it aggressively into the crease. <laughs> Because that's how I like to blend aggressively. <laughs> and this is a nice like warm chocolate brown shade. Perfect for outer V. Perfect for the crease. And this darkened up this look quite a bit. <laughs> and then I didn't, I failed to show you this shade. But it's the one I talked about in the intro. It's that brown dark metallic shade. And I'm applying that wet using the Sigma Large Shader Brush to E60. And it's really pretty. I mean, really pretty. Nice, um, again, brown with a hint of, of gold uh, metallic brown shimmer shade. And I'm just using, I'm just piling that on to the lid because I wanted some pop. And I'm kind of cutting the crease there um, in the corners there. Going back in with that dark warm brown shade just to define the crease a bit and uh, the outer V area. And then going back in with that original shade that we started off with and that Sonia G brush and going to blend out those edges. Want to make sure these shadows blend seamlessly together. I really didn't have much fallout at all. I'm just cleaning up where I went further on below my eye than I want it to. And now I'm taking the Esum dual eye pencil and this side is the Abogine color and I'm just putting that in my waterline and a little bit onto my lower lash line. And I'm taking my Makeup Geek pencil brush and I'm taking that warm brown shade and I'm just blending out that aubergine liner all across my lower lash line. I'm going to leave just a little bit short of the inner corner because I'm going to put my inner corner highlight there. I'm taking that same pencil brush and this darker corally peach shade and I'm placing that in the inner corner. I'm pretty sure I used these wet as I said in the intro. And I don't know, I didn't feel like that was giving me what I was looking for, which is unusual. I don't usually like a really, when I'm doing a more neutral um, eye look, I don't like a bright inner corner highlight, but I guess I wanted that today. So I'm going back in with that more pinky, pinky peach shade. I'm also using it wet and I'm just placing it over that last metallic shade. And so I wanted to give it a little more brightness. And this is the finished eye look. I use my Sephora retractable eyeliner to tight line and do a small liner. Um, and the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. Let me know down below if you own this palette and what your thoughts are about it. Do you think it's a smart addition to the Juvia's Place lineup and does it have a place in your collection? If you like this video then please give it a like and consider subscribing because I do makeup related content here on my channel every Saturday. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you again next week. Until then, bye bye.